This channel is made possible by viewers like you. My viewers, subscribers, and patrons greatly help to keep this channel going. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. Please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you'll get access to what I'm working on, previews of upcoming content, and even early videos, along with other tier options for those that are interested. Thank you, and now on to the video. Sony seems to be going for a record of the most needless remakes and remasters. I took a lot of issue when this was being done to The Last of Us, and yet the multiplayer was not even in that version either. Yes, remaking a game that still looks great on both the PS3 and PS4, along with it playing better on the PS4 and runs just fine on your PS5. But it seems like the marketing department cared more about The Last of Us than Until Dawn. I had seen next to nothing for this remake. I saw that it was being made, and again, it was another one that left me scratching my head. Here we have another PS4 game, getting a full-on remake. You can go back and play Until Dawn right now. While I have not covered it yet on my channel, this is one title I really enjoy. I would put it in the category of being an overlooked and underrated PS4 exclusive. It was kind of like a David Cage game without all the pretentious stuff and it just kept focusing on the fun aspects of a horror film. Except that you were sort of driving it along, with playing director with the choices you made. But now for Sony's lack of marketing, and maybe gamers looking at there not being much of a reason to buy this game for a second time, the remake is selling poorly. It is even doing worse than Concord, which is kind of an impressive feat. This is a really interesting situation, because I do not get how Sony thought this entire thing was a good idea. Yes, for sure, the original game is very good, no question there. But now you remake it with a new coat of paint and charging full price for it. Now sure, there is the added bonus of it being released on PC, that is a plus. But the single player game requires the player to then sign into Sony's services on PC. Again, why? Sony seems to want to continue to break in and capitalize on the PC market. A good idea and concept, but by doing stuff like this, especially for single player games, is the exact opposite of the way to do it. If anything, this is promoting people to then just wait, and then even pirate their game, so they don't even have to deal with this nonsense. This sort of feels like Sony's version of Games for Windows Live. You know there were a handful of games that did this back in the day for Xbox and other third-party titles. Some games required it and others didn't. You could even earn achievements, but the always online aspect to it was not fun. Again, especially when you are playing a single-player game. Something else I find funny about this is that Until Dawn is like a playable movie. So if you are the type that just wants to get the story, you can go right to YouTube and watch it like a feature film, even seeing all the different changes that can happen based on the player's actions. Now for me, this takes out the choice aspect of the game. This is not how I would want to experience it, but if you wanted to, you could. It's not really a gameplay focused game, so you can get a large amount out of it by just watching it. So if I am anyone like that, why would I pay for the remake, especially at full price? When looking at the entire situation of the Until Dawn remake, you have a situation where it would appear that a good amount of money was spent on remaking a PS4 game, where Sony is then charging full price for it, they poorly advertised it as well, and they even included barriers for the PC gamers. And now I'm sure that the suits at Sony are probably shocked that this thing is not selling well at all. This overall sucks for a few reasons. For one, this is going to needlessly damage the image of this game, and the original studio, and it isn't the fault of the original team. You know, the talent that actually made the game, but rather the publisher that wanted this remake done, so that they could have their cake and eat it too. Then you look at where Sony took all of these funds to remake a PS4 game, and this could have been used for something else, that really could have benefited from that money. Better yet, why not fund a sequel or something like that for Until Dawn? I know that I would have liked another one like this. That might have been something that I could actually get excited about. It would seem that gamers are finding this game to be a waste of time and money, and maybe they're in the same situation as me, where I'm left continually wondering why Sony makes these decisions. Were you a fan of the original Until Dawn? Have you played or are interested in this remake? Was it even needed? Should Sony have done a sequel instead? Let me know all of this in the comments down below. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out my Patreon page. For just a dollar a month, you can help to keep this channel going strong, and this allows me to be able to do more for my awesome audience. Please check out the links in the description and pinned comment for ways to support the channel. And most of all, thank you very much for watching.